My name is Adam Thornton, I'm a structural engineer at Dunning Thornton Consultants. The, the, the technology we use in these buildings, uh, in this building, we've got a great combination here of both a base isolation, which was invented here in Wellington and we love to use it, uh, diagrid technology, which makes the building very stiff. Yeah, I think it's acknowledged around the country that amongst engineers that there is a sort of an engineering centre of excellence here in Wellington because we, the demands on us as structural engineers here has been apparent for a long time. Wellington is actually the greatest place for a structural engineer to be. You know, we've got earthquakes, so we've got high winds, we've got all sorts of other you know, steep hillsides that, that give us a lot of challenges. We had to respond to those. We have to be innovative in the way we work. And what we're seeing in this building is showing some of those innovation put into practice. Well, this building has got a very public ground floor relationship with both Wakefield and Cable Streets and that's born about because it's on a very long street block, about 200 metres in length, and the current site has been used predominantly over its lifetime as a bit of a shortcut between Te Papa and Courtney Place. So we wanted to formalise that in the design of the new building and make sure we respected that and provided a genuine through site link through our building which occurs on the ground floor from both Cable and Wakefield Streets and within that space there is a, a public cafe that people will make it a destination. So we imagine that uh, people that come to a convention in Wellington will be staying in hotels nearby and we imagine they'll walk there on foot because it's going to be so easy to get to. This building will be one of, one of the leading sustainable examples of, of a convention centre in New Zealand. So we're leading the way in a number of, number of areas for this building, in particular the adaptable systems within the building. They all use up to two thirds less energy or emit two thirds less carbon than similar buildings uh, that are built to minimum building code standard. Our vision for this building when people arrive is that they'll arrive at a building that they know has been considerately designed and incorporates features that they uh, will recognise as being desirable from a sustainable point of view. This building will use 60 to 70 percent less energy and emit 60 to 70 percent less carbon emissions than a building of similar form and function and that's a significant reduction in the impact it has on the environment. We're looking for inspiration around what it is that creates us, shapes us in our everyday. Maui's uh, head of the fish. The site was the seabed previously, it was a mud flat and so on, so looking at some of those sinewy shapes. Often you try and tell a story with a building and the story about its genesis and being that rooted in Wellington and we hope that that's where the wider public will enjoy that unique what it is to be Wellington as the building is rooted in, in Wellington.